Hey, what's up guys? Shane here, the Rice Creek Bushcraft. I thought today we'd talk about something. I don't know why I've never made a video about this. Um, wild mushrooms. <clears throat> I've been doing this, finding mushrooms, eating different mushrooms, studying mushrooms for probably over 10 years now. And uh, it's something that's really fun to do in the fall. It's a great time to find wild mushrooms. Um, there's a lot of them out there. There's a lot of different species that come out right now. Um, I'm just kind of on some state forest uh, state forest road right now. I thought we'd walk around and see if we could find some. Right now, what's really prevalent is hen of the woods and chicken of the woods. So we'll see if we can find one or the other. Uh, hen of the woods you usually find around a dead or dying black oak or black oak stumps. So we're going to walk out here and see if we can find something. And I'll tell you guys um, how you can identify them, how to cook them, how to process them, all that stuff. So let's get to it. All right, so just parked on this uh, state forest road here, and we will look around. I see there's a lot of black oaks here, so that's why I decided to stop. Now, what I'm looking for is we're going to grow. Hmm, look at this here. This is a uh, coral fungi. Let's see. Mm. This stuff's edible, too but that's not what we're after. So what we're looking for is a black oak that looks like it's dead, dying, damaged. Um, uh, okay, that one looks relatively healthy. So see like that black oak there that's got the broke off piece, you know, that might be a place to look. I don't see any there, but uh, I was just uh, marking a piece of timber for a lady and her husband and I told her I would find one on her property, and luckily I did. It was at the stump of an old red oak. Um, so we'll see if we can find anything out here. I'll just stop this for a minute until we maybe, so you guys aren't watching me walk around the woods. It's kind of boring. All right, look here. You can't see it. I'm what we're looking for. So, black oak tree. You can see this, it's it's uh, got some, some type of damage here. If you look up there, it's hollow. So the tree is dying and, and mushrooms only are gonna grow on a tree that is dead or dying. So right here is a hen of the woods, but check this one out, this is impressive. Guys, you can find these like 25, 35 pounds, they get huge, this thing is huge right here. This thing is ginormous. So this is what we're looking for. This is the hen of the woods right here. This is a good size one. I don't have anything for reference, but oh yeah, I do. Got my Falkneven H1. So you can see, it's taller than my knife. It's way wider. So this this is this is the biggest one I found this year. Now I've just eaten eaten some of these over the weekend. Um, so what you want to do is sometimes you like this one. A lot of times you'll you'll find them in their there might be a couple different clumps, and I usually just take one, but fortunately or unfortunately, this is kind of one big piece. So I'm gonna show you how you can dismantle this thing. Guys, I was just driving around today for work, so I don't have my tripod, so you have to forgive me, but a lot of times if you just reach down as far as you can under the mushroom and, and pull right there, you can bust it loose. Now, the bottom is gonna be really dirty, okay? See all that dirt and stuff you're gonna want, you don't wanna, Get that all over the rest of the mushrooms so keep when you transport it keep it the dirt side down okay dirt side down now i'm going to kind of describe what you want to do when you get this home so you get it broke free put it in your vehicle and then once you get home let's get one of these really dirty pieces that i'm probably not going to eat okay they look like this they look like a flower petal or whatever you want to say so what i do is a lot of the stuff on top is going to be nice and clean. There'll be no dirt, nothing on it. And these don't usually have bugs because it's usually cool enough. You find them in September, October. Um, right now it's October 5th. So this is the time you find them. But uh, they're kind of like a, a frond, I guess you'd say. I don't know what you want to call it. It's a type of polypore. And you can tell if you look close enough, you can see these little pores. See those little holes? So there's no, at least in Michigan, I don't think anywhere in the world. But... 
I'll just I'll just vouch for Michigan. There's no poisonous polypores. Okay, so if you see a mushroom like this and it has these pores, and a polypore will grow on dead wood or a dying tree or a stump, okay? There's other mushrooms that have, they kind of look like pores, they're called a bolete, like a king bolete. There's a lot of different kind of boletes, but they're more like tubes. Usually these pores are longer. But anyways, this is a polypore. There's no poisonous ones in Michigan. So I'm gonna try to do this one-handed. You take these and tear them in strips, okay? Just like that, just grab it. And it's hard to do one-handed. But if you have two hands and, and you pull, It'll just, it'll just tear off and strip. So that's what you want to do. Um, if you've got some that are dirty, when you go home to cook them, just put them in a cauldron and rinse water over them. You know, kind of swish them around. Get all this dirt and stuff off. I, a lot of times, will cut the bottom layer off. I don't want all that dirt. Uh, but just, just rinse them off. But don't soak them in water, okay? You'll ruin them. Don't, like, I know a lot of people do that to morels. And it literally ruins the flavor. It pulls all the good stuff out of them. They get soggy and nasty. Don't soak these mushrooms. Just rinse them off. And the stuff up top, all this, I don't, I wouldn't even, I don't have to do anything to. I just peel it apart and cook it. So, hen of the woods, um, the way you want to cook it, the way I cook it, is I, I get as much as I want. I strip them up like I just showed you there, and I uh, throw them in a pan. I get some butter hot. Now I just tried the other day. I used extra virgin olive oil. That was pretty good. I've done it with bacon grease, that's really good. But if you just have butter, throw butter in a pan. Um, I like to use garlic salt and some pepper. That's all I put on it. But you can use whatever seasoning you like. Whatever you like on your mushrooms, that's what you just fry it up. And what I try to do is I like mine kind of um, with moisture in them. I don't like to dry them completely out. So once the edges start to get a little crispy, you'll see they'll turn a little red and crispy and this part's still fleshy squishy that's how i like mine my wife likes hers completely crispy so i usually make a couple batches but this right here um i suppose you could put them in ziploc bags get the air out of them freeze them i usually just put them in the fridge because i eat so many of them that uh, they usually don't last that long i love them but yeah that's how you cook them up fry them up in a pan i suppose you could use batters probably a lot of ways you can do it um, they're really, really, really good with eggs in the morning. I like mine with eggs. Um, I like them with venison, obviously. You can cook them up with the seasonings I described and then throw some onions in there. To me, most wild mushrooms that you throw onions in make it even more amazing. So that's one mushroom that you can eat. They're safe to eat. Um, you know, if you have any questions, feel free to message me. You can find me on Instagram at SOB Forge, and I'll answer any questions if you you know, a lot of times uh, YouTube does not give good updates, so um, it's hard to say if I'll get the message or not. Or not updates, you know what I mean. Notifications, I'm sorry. Uh, but you can message me, I can answer questions. If you send me pictures, I can try to help you. Uh, but do your homework on mushrooms. Like I said, you, these are not a fearful mushroom. I mean, they're, they're, they're a beginner mushroom. Hen of the woods, polypore, safe to eat. They look like a hen, kind of, with her feathers roughed up. You know, like she's dusting herself. That's kind of where they got the name. They taste really good. They've got a wild taste, um, earthy, similar to morel. Not quite as strong as a morel, but but very similar. I, I think this is as close as I could describe a morel to people as these. But these are a lot more hardy. They last longer. You can put them in a fridge in a bag and they'll last probably for weeks. And you can just cook them up as you need them. Uh, so anyways, that's the mushroom, I guess, for today. Um, there's another one that grows this time of year. A lot of people will see and recognize. It's called the chicken of the woods. And it's kind of got a neon greenish yellow color. <clears throat> usually the tops of them are orange. And they usually grow on trees in layers, stacked. So smaller one, then bigger, then bigger, then bigger. Uh, see, look, here's another one around this tree. Another right there. Another hand of the woods. So we've, so like I said, a lot of times they'll, they'll, you'll have several around a tree like this that's dying. So we've got that one, and the big one. Then over here, I noticed there's something growing. I don't know what it is. I didn't walk over here. There's some kind of mushroom growing here. Um, I don't know, it's so far gone. I have no clue. Don't know, let's see if there's any evidence of anything else. 
No, that's the only one it looks like. There's something here. Don't know what that is. Anyways, uh, head of the woods. Black oak trees. Dead or dying. Find them. Try them. I think you guys will like them. Let me know. All right, guys. God bless you all. And have a great day. See you.